if you are an entrepreneur you start a business work hard within yourself and make your business successful earning a lot of money from it and then a person comes along and says since you are making so much money from your business you should pay my school fees something similar happened to charlie kirk when a student asked him such a question that left charlie kirk quite surprised let's see what his response was in the video those who are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel let's start the us and california government should pay well, what do you mean by everyone. the government you mean taxpayers yes i mean i mean taxpayers oh so so someone else should pay for your school Yes, that's how oh, taxes okay. work. Yeah. I just find it funny like the entitlement that you want somebody else to like pay for your schooling or your your that education. That is how taxes work. Yes. Okay, yeah. I mean, I reject that fundamentally. Like invest in yourself. A lot of money is hoarded within rich people and companies at top 1% of, you know, people. What's the difference between someone who has 100 million and 200 million for like their lifestyle? It's a big difference when you talk to an entrepreneur that's willing to like give up his entire life to go m to take risks to What's change the, the world. If you feel the government <laughs> is going to take more than half of what you earn, it disincentivizes risk taking. Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark have a 55 to 60% tax rate at the top level. Can you name a single billionaire entrepreneur or big company from those four countries? No, cuz I'm American. You know who can name plenty of American companies? They can. Tesla, SpaceX, Apple, we have the greatest and best companies because there is still this idea that if you take big risks in this country, you can get a payoff. These are the same people who will demand mortgage forgiveness in a few years. I agree with Charlie Kirk that excessive taxes will demotivate entrepreneurs. Here I want to give you an example of a country where just a few years ago there was only desert, only sand, there were no buildings there, but today the country ranks among the best in the world. People are going there in large numbers, starting their businesses there. buying properties there and the biggest reason for this is that taxes there are very low almost non existent the name of that country is dubai dubai considered a successful country in every aspect and businessmen are investing there primarily because taxes are very low and doing business is very easy the desert that was there just a few years ago is now home to world famous towering buildings including the burj khalifa so i agree with charlie kirk that if you impose too much tax entrepreneurs and businessmen can be greatly demotivated and the examples of countries they mentioned where taxes are more than 50% that's absolutely a fact Isn't it true that there are no companies there there are companies but they are not at the level of companies like Apple or Tesla so i think students should work hard on their own and invest in themselves and strive to groom and improve themselves so what do you guys think about this video do let me know in the comments if you liked the video don't forget to subscribe thank you very much for listening and supporting me take care